Do you have trouble finding a pair of climbing shoes that fits? Either the heel is loose or the toes are too scrunched, causing all types of pain. What if there's a solution to the problem? This is the world's first 3D printed individualized climbing shoes. This is my friend Kais. He's a climber, but he's also a product design student in Hong Kong. We're going to his studio because he's created something really cool. I'm here with Kais. Can you tell me like through the process of like making this shoe? So the whole process took around 13 weeks from researching to 3D printing a final shoe. At first I start off with like these frames. This is actually like an outline of my foot. So like you laser scanned your own foot. Like if I was to put it up, it would match exactly the same. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, what do you do next? So I spent like $300 like printing out this copy of my foot. Climbing shoes, you typically want like every part of your foot to be like tied. Not only can you edge like extremely well, but it's also more sensitive. The first print, second print. And here you sort of adapted the two. I see you put some actual rubbers on, a lacing system. This design, we have two types of 3D printed material. This one here is traditional PLA, which is like a hard plastic. And then up here, we have like a softer material known as polyjet. When you print it, you can actually like bend it around, which you can't do with normal materials. I think that's quite important, right? Because like, yeah. if it's just this hard rubber, that's not really realistic. Mm. But then once you get to like the softer rubbers, if you find like a compound that works perfectly with climbing, and you can still do it in 3D printing. Yeah, exactly. Like, it could actually be the future. Mm. Bam. Now we'll have the proper, fully printed model. Mm. First and foremost, how long did it take to print the shoe? The shoe took around 32 hours to print. A one half of a pair of climbing shoes. Yeah. Oh, that's not even counting, like, getting rid of the infill. When you print it, it prints like a block of material. You gotta scrape you it up. Scrape it out and spray it all down. So 40 hours yeah. worth one half the shoot. Is this a coffee? Yeah, this is a model that I use. It's called a Strassi's Poly Jet. You can print like two different materials at the same time. Different colors, soft materials, hot materials, and everything. I gotta be honest, it looks perfect. Like, it looks like an actual climbing shoe that everyone will wear. I could just see professional climbers buying this. You can go in, get your foot molded, and like, get a shoe that fits you perfectly. It's great. The upper is made of like a parametric material. That makes it lighter and yeah. cheaper, so why not, yeah? I see that this shoe is like a lot more downturn than the previous models. Mm. How have you done that? The bottom here is made of a more harder material. Yeah. It's still like flexible, but it allows you to step and hold without the whole shoe deforming. Now we're going into like quite important question. So how much did it cost you for print this model? This model alone costs fifteen hundred dollars to print. That's one half of the shoes. So that just the material and printing alone is going to cost you around three k. If it's like a proper marketable shoe, it might co go up to like three four k. But like, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that's actually that crazy to actually have your own personalized pair of shoes. How much is a normal pair of climbing shoes? I think like one to two grand. I think this is definitely tailored towards like more professional climbers or like someone who's like really, who really care about climbing and like performance like a big thing to them. To have a shoe that fits you perfectly, that's going to help you send your project and like really have no discomfort at all. You don't got to be concerned about changing shoe in like the middle of a comp and everything. This is it. I think you've done it, man. This is the future. Cheers. Sick one. I just want to thank Kaius again for helping me out with this video. It's really cool to see what the future of climbing can be when we see like more companies trying to like do something like this, more personalized, more high-end stuff. It is going to be quite expensive, but I don't know. I think it's fair. Thank you for watching the video. Comment down below to let us know what you think about the shoe, if this is indeed the future of climbing, and like, will you get one? Yeah, like and subscribe, baby. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace!